give you an indication of how popular Grant was. Uh, upon his death in July of 1885, his funeral took place in New York City. There were over one and a half million people that lined the streets of Broadway to see the funeral procession. That funeral procession was over seven miles long and they had to turn people away that wanted to participate. Both Union and Confederate generals, former generals of the Civil War, were his pallbearers. Several years later, 12 years later, uh, uh, William McKinley, President William McKinley, another Ohio president, uh, was at the dedication of his tomb there on Manhattan Island, uh, there on uh, uh, the, the Hudson River. Um, another one million people attended the dedication of that tomb. This is 12 years after he had passed away. Uh, and his tomb there in New York is, is, is the largest memorial mausoleum in North America. Frederick Douglass, uh, who was uh, the, the quintessential uh, African-American leader during the Civil War and a confidant of Lincoln, uh, was a huge supporter of Grant. In fact, Frederick Douglass held Grant in higher esteem than Lincoln, and he credited Grant with freeing over four million slaves and, and, and fighting for their rights. So Frederick Douglass himself said Lincoln um, signed the Emancipation Proclamation, but Grant made emancipation fact.